I came home from prison uh, homeless and penniless, and I lived in women's shelters, and for 16 months I had no home. When you walk out of prison, you still have a life sentence. It's not a literal life sentence, but if you talk to anybody who's formerly incarcerated, they will tell you you're marked for life. When I came home to Port Authority, and I'd seen Port Authority a million times in my life, this is the first time in my life that I was so overwhelmed that I started sobbing. And that feeling is still with me. The Suitcase Project is an initiative of witness to mass incarceration. Um, it's actually a collaboration between witness, a synagogue, and a newly released person. The goal is to provide them with a suitcase with items that they need um, in order to find a job and build a life, a phone, a computer, and money for clothes, and also community. We want to make sure that they don't come home alone. Look who's here. How's my favorite mother? Ali, do you know what's going on here? Ali, come here. Okay, okay. She was, shrunk about four inches. I shrunk four inches? You will too. <laughs> so my mother is giving us our first suitcase. It's symbolic of being passed down from someone who survived the Holocaust and started over. Once they were sponsored, and they were given $2.50 each and a suitcase to put things in, and they went on the ship and came to Ellis Island. Dear Miss Litwock, I'm writing this letter to inquire about your new suitcase project. I was incarcerated at 17 years old for 10 years. After being released, I was trying to continue my education at John Jay College and was living in a very unstable environment, which played a significant role in my return to prison. That's the girl. We're going to get the girl. It. So I've come out of prison a few times with nothing or no one. We're gonna make something out of ourselves. This isn't, you know, it, this isn't the end. Getting out of prison is the beginning. So we'll see where we go from here. To accept charges, press one. To refuse, to thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello. Mom, we're still waiting. We're waiting patiently. I just want to see a little four foot 11 girl walking fast down the hill. You guys can't fill. So my girlfriend is missing in action. So we went from waiting for Chas to searching for Chas. So let's go do it. Okay, so where are you now? I live in the corner of the Bedford Hills on James Station. We're on our way. Just giving you a warning. It's probably going to be the greatest person you ever met. <laughs> it's a long walk. I know it's a long walk, so why would you walk? Because I didn't see anybody. <laughs> I love you so much. I'm free! <laughs> <laughs> free at last. Auntie just loves you, fat boy. Do you see him? He's adorable. Were they trying to put you in a shelter? They did throw me to a shelter, but because I'm going in there and throwing a fit, like, listen, I should not have to go to a shelter. I gave you two different addresses that I could be at. But then they were going to send me upstate, and I was like, I don't want to go upstate to a dumpster. I'm not going up there neither. What am I supposed to do, take a scooter, a big wheel, and ride it around? Like, how am I supposed to get anywhere? Heavy? We're coming up. We're coming up, <laughs> Hi, Evie. This is Rabbi Lauren. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Give you a hug. Sure. Oh, Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice Hi. to meet you. you. This is your first gift, which couldn't fit into the suitcase. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. And 
if you need not help gonna... um, setting it up, let me know. I'll you know what? If it was in 2013 when they let me go, I'd be like, oh boy, this is foreign. I think I might be able to figure it out. This could be progress taking place. Yeah, I just graduated Bard. Actually, I just got my official transcript yeah. yesterday from them. Um, I was at John Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Good old muscle tough thing. Were you studying anything specific? Um, I was doing criminal justice. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't really understand the logic behind putting a child away for that long. And it was a drug charge. It was nothing violent. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. A couple tears. Can you leave me alone? <laughs> do, you, do you see what it says in the front? I do. Today will be all kinds of amazing. It absolutely is. I just want to say I appreciate all of you. I'm so grateful. Whenever I think of Faith, I think of my father. And I think of him smiling as he put on his talus and his tefillin. It gave him great joy, and now it gives me great joy. I would never have expected, it's going to make me cry, this kind of joy from it. That's why I'm doing this project through, I believe in my heart, it will be extraordinarily successful because the people who I'm asking to participate are phenomenal people, are people of faith. And that's going to be the difference. If the suitcase project can have a domino effect, where I'm doing it around the country, my belief is that welcoming the stranger, which is a big Jewish value, will be a whole lot easier 